Hey everyone, I'm Megan Remblack and welcome to my channel, Meg Rem Softball. In this video, I'm gonna show three different infield drills that you can do with youth players or players who are just starting out. And in my opinion, the two biggest things to focus on are body posture and footwork. And these drills are gonna to touch on both of those. So before we start our drills, let's talk about body posture. Wanna make sure how we're set up, we're a little bit wider than our shoulders with our, our bottom half. We don't wanna to be too close in our feet. We don't wanna to be too wide. We won't have balance that way. So we're just outside of our shoulders. So we're nice and strong. My chest is going to be down and I have a flat back. So nice and flat. We don't wanna round back. It's really tough to bend. We're not gonna be able to get our glove in the dirt that way. So chest down, back flat. My glove is out front. I don't want my glove in between my feet. I'm gonna lose that ball. I'm not gonna be able to field it cleanly. So my glove is out front, right under my eyes. So this first drill is gonna help us work on both body posture and footwork. My footwork, as a righty, it's right foot, left foot field, right foot, left foot throw. Lefties, left foot, right foot field, left foot, right foot throw. So I'm a righty, I'm gonna demonstrate as a right-hander. So I have a ladder and I have five balls. There's a ball every other square. We're gonna go nice and slow with this, again, to help feel how everything should be uh, working properly. So my glove is gonna be out. I'm gonna go with my right foot into the first square, and then I'm gonna take my left foot into the third square and have my ball, or my glove, right behind that ball. So I can feel, again, nice and strong, and my glove is out front. Once I do that, I'm gonna reset, and then I'm gonna put my right foot in that third square, and then my left foot in that fifth square. So I'm skipping every other square. You can do feet in both, or like side by side. I just feel it's a little bit too close. Uh, so for me, I skip a square. There's gonna be an empty square right in the middle, and my glove's gonna be behind the ball. I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna go again, right foot, left foot, pause. Make sure these girls don't go fast and are sloppy. You wanna get that proper body positioning, the faster sloppy you go, you're gonna take that to game time and you wanna practice how you wanna play. So I'm going back, right foot, left foot, pause. Back, right foot, left foot, pause. And this is what I look like full speed. You're going to start with the ball in your glove. So you're going to be holding on to a ball. We're going to be working on our footwork after we field. So how we're going to do this, we're going to start with the ball in our glove, making sure we are in the uh, proper body positioning. My chest is down, my back is flat, my glove is out front. What you're going to do, you're going to go from here, right, left, and you're going to pause in that throwing position. Then you're going to reset. You're going to go in your fielding position, right, left making sure you're in your legs, you're getting the ball to the proper throwing position. On the third one, you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna throw. Again, this is just working on taking it slow, but making sure we have the right footwork after we field. So full speed, gloves out front, right left. Right left, right left, throw. So for this last drill, we're gonna kind of put everything together now while still breaking it up in parts. So how this works is coach, teammate, mom, dad is gonna hit you a ground ball. What you're gonna do is you're gonna field and you're gonna come up pausing in that throwing position for about a second. After you pause, you're gonna shuffle twice in your legs and then throw. So the whole point of this drill is to again, make sure we get our footwork down, we have the uh, proper positioning in our body, but when we come up, we're in our legs. Probably the biggest thing I see with younger girls is when we're fielding, we come straight up and we're not in our legs. We can throw it, we're just not gonna throw it as hard as we want to. So this drill helps us feel where we need to be right before we throw. We're going to shuffle twice and then throw. No, you normally don't shuffle in the game of softball. It goes way too fast. However, with this drill, it helps you feel staying in your legs, especially when you shuffle, you can feel staying low, feel athletic. So this is what it looked like full speed.